In this video, I'm going to give you a few easy DIY tricks that can give new life to your old clothing. Let's get started. So the first DIY method and the easiest method is the Mandarin Collar. The Mandarin Collar DIY is perfect for, you know, those collared shirts that you have that just no longer button up to the top or you just have a shirt that has a very flimsy collar. The process is very simple here. All you have to do is just fold your collar up find the stitching between the collar and just cut as close as you can above the stitching. So I'm gonna show you a visual guide here so you don't mess this up. You do not wanna cut on the line of the stitching, okay? You don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is get as close as you can above the stitching and cut around the collar. Once you finish cutting around the collar, you're pretty much done. There you go. You just created your own custom mandarin collared shirt and you can do this with anything that has a collar you know from button down shirts polos and even jackets now we're going to move on to making your own custom pair of shorts so all you have to do is just get an old pair of jeans or chinos put them on and mark with a pen or marker on where you want those jeans to end so for me i'm going to mark it right up slightly above my kneecap now I'm not going to directly cut on the line that I just made. I'm actually going to give it an inch and a half or two inches of extra length just to be safe. You also want to cut your pants at a very slight angle so you have an even seam at the bottom. After you finish cutting, you have three different style options to choose from. You could go with a raw edge and just leave it the way it is. You could go with a clean edge and just fold it through the inside or you could cuff it. Either way works. For me, I'm gonna go with the folded hem look. So what I'm gonna do is just simply put those shorts back on, give it a few folds until I'm happy with the length. Once you found the length that you desired, we are going to seal the placement of those cuffs. So what I did is got some permanent heated bonding tape and you can find this anywhere at your local Walmart for like $3. And I just placed it under each cuff, each side of the cuff, front and back, and I just ironed it all the way through until it's stuck. And here is the final result. I made two custom made denim shorts that do not look DIY at all. These look like they've been purchased at a store. If anything, they look better than what most department stores are selling at $50 to $60. And I made one with very large cuffs and one with, you know, your standard sized cuff. As for the leftover denim, you can actually use a piece of fabric for a hack that can save you money in the long run. Let me show you. Just simply get your razor blade and lie that piece of denim on a flat surface and glide it 10 to 20 times in the opposite direction. This is actually going to sharpen your blade and get rid of any dullness and it's actually going to extend the life of that razor for weeks. Lastly, you could also use the same techniques that we use to make our shorts and turn your long sleeve shirts into short sleeves. So there you have it guys, a few easy DIY tricks to give you know your old clothing some new life and hopefully you're more inclined to wear them after watching this video. I'll show you a few example outfits that I put together right after I did these DIY tricks and I love how it came out. You know, it's stylish, it's currently in trend and the best part, I did not have to spend any money on shopping. Anyways guys, that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys for watching once again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next video. Peace.